from from Nick uh, Arnajon, um, and he's asking, what is the the recipe to set up a turbo core chiller with um, 160 Fahrenheit or 70 C um, CLWT? Currently, suppliers uh, are saying that it's about 140 Fahrenheit or 60 degrees C. Yeah, the the maximum that we can achieve today, it's a really good question because there's an evolution that's happening right now on that. So the maximum, uh, you, you'll see it on the right-hand side here. The maximum that we can provide C or uh, in uh, discharge temperature today out of the compressor is 69C. That in turn means about 67 degrees Celsius hot water temperature. But by the end of this year, the goal is to expand this uh, on the discharge temperature side to about 77, and on the hot water temperature side corresponding with that about 75 C. So the recipe, and it depends on the application, the source temperature, did he mention the source temperature, the heat recovery? No source temperature. Okay, all right, On it really depends on the source temperature because, and, um, Actually, I'm gonna jump ahead. Uh, if you have a low source temperature, um, and, and this is shown on the right-hand side here. Actually, I'm gonna jump out and then jump back in. So this is showing the source water temperatures and the variations. For a low source water temperature, such as seawater or ambient air applications. Generally, your combination of compressor or the recipe uh, to his question that you'll use for the final heat pump solution is very different from what you'll use for a higher source water temperature application, such as industrial flue gas or a district heating return out distributed in a system. And then you have the medium source temperatures so low source temperatures end up going back to the source at about two degrees Celsius, medium about 10 degrees Celsius, 30 for the high temp. The most common that we see is the medium temp. But this, the architecture that you'll use for a low source water temperature example is much more complicated and is very different from what you'll use for a high temp source example. Yeah. But the related to that and just to finish the rest of the story on that you know for every 1k that you're decreasing the lift that the overall heat pump plant has to do you're improving the system efficiency by about one and a half percent so what we try to do is of course focus on the higher source water temperature applications as well as the lower supply water temperature applications as the optimal for a payback of these systems